fans. <laughs> All right. I want to just say real quick before I start this video, 16 subscribers may not seem like a lot compared to a lot of the world right now, you know, 100,000 subscribers, 200,000 subscribers, stuff like that. But I want to tell you that to me, it means a lot because I know you guys have been there since the beginning. You guys have been there since the thick and the thin of it. So without further ado, I want to say that um, at the very end of this video, if you guys will just link leave a uh, link in the comments to your channel. I'm going to go there. I'm going to watch one of your videos. I mean, I like it, and I'm going to subscribe to your channel. All right? You got that? Good. Make sure to do it. <laughs> and I also want to want to say real quick a couple words on uh, the gaming Putin. He is he's hilarious, okay? I want to say go check out his channel, man. He has been there for me for a long time, and he has helped me a lot with some of my videos and ideas and all and I want to say just uh, check him out he is absolutely hysterical all right so let's get into this video I'm going to be telling you about my prop gravity spikes I made for black ops 3 ruin these are freaking none other than gravity spikes they are ruins and this is all black ops 3 equipment my friend I even wore the black ops 3 prosthetic hand for me I made it a while back and just around with it but I made these originally because you know if you guys don't know I posted a video I believe it was yesterday maybe the day before yesterday but it was me playing ruin with gravity spikes on black ops 3 on nuketown with the bots and all that and it was after that that I thought you know hey gravity spikes are pretty big butt man I might as well make some so I went up to my barn and you know I do props anyway I do all the props for my movies all those guns of mine and so I thought hey I'll just start working out on uh, some gravity spikes. I was up there for hours. Are you kidding me? I was up there for hours just building away, building away, and all that, strengthening them, strengthening them. I wanted to make sure I could slam these things into the ground with all my force and a jump, and they wouldn't break. And I tell you what, man, they have succeeded. They have succeeded. They have surpassed my expectations, as you saw in the video introing this. So I want to say that, all right, we'll uh, bring it up, and I'll give you a closer look at the gravity spikes and tell you everything. All right, these are my gravity spikes. Now these things are solid. I took the end here when I chiseled it. It's just a dowel rod, but I sealed it up to where it's actually pretty strong. Made not much of it sticking out, so it's very strong. Put it in a pipe that's very flush to it, so it uses the pipe as bracing. And that dowel rod continues all the way over here. So all that force is distributed through all this. I can slam these things into the ground, nothing. <laughs> then I also attach this to a nice long piece of PVC up here that'll also help brace it and then of course brace the sides with other dowel rods. This guard, there's only one problem I've had with the guard and that's it breaking right up here. So far I've been able to fix it slightly by uh, making it thicker and I've also taken the one that did break when it was thicker and put a screw in it so oh well <laughs> screws fix everything right? <laughs> Now, I made these because I was thinking, you know, hey, I'll uh, do a Comic Con. Originally, I was thinking of going to the Comic Con in Kansas City in August as a Reaper, making the whole costume as that. Now I'm confused. I mean, if you guys want to help me out here, <laughs> tell me which one you like better, Reaper or uh, Ruin. So I have the weapons made for, Re uh, for Ruin right now, and I could make the weapon for Reaper. It's going to be really freaking difficult, but uh, hey, not everything's easy. Otherwise, everyone would be doing it. All right, so uh, this is my gravity spike. And now if you want to help me out with your uh, link to your channel and all that, just put Reaper or Ruin, you know, and I'm going to count them up and see uh, which one's more, and that's who I'm going to be for the Comic-Con. All right? So, uh, yeah, if you guys want to go, if you're going to the Comic-Con there, you can find me there, and uh, I will probably be dressed as either one of these, and I will announce which one I have chosen. I will post a, uh, I will make a post announcing which one I have chosen. And that way you know who to look for. Wait a minute. 